In this video we will be looking at current controlled voltage sources. So we'll open a new schematic straight away and we'll call it current control voltage source CCVS. Then we press Ctrl L and we type CCVS in the search box and we choose the first source that comes up. As we did with the current source we can double click on the element and remove some of the parameters that we don't actually need to work with. In this case, the control variable is a current and the output of the source is a voltage. We need to set the input sensing resistor R1 to 0 ohms because we just want an ammeter which takes the current through this 0 ohm resistor, there is no voltage drop across it, the current is measured and then we will use that value to work out the voltage at the output of the source. When it comes to R2 here, again, as in the case of the voltage controlled voltage source, this is used to model the non-ideal aspect of voltage sources and in an ideal world it will be zero, so we'll set this to zero as well. Next I will set up the circuit shown in figure 320, which is part of example 3.6 from your book. The first thing that I'll do is right click on the element, select flip and then draw the axis about which I want to flip the element. And next I will connect all the circuit elements shown in the figure to the output of this current control voltage source. Next what we have to do is feed current IO which is the current going through the resistor R3 into the input of our current controlled voltage source. This means putting the resistor R1 featured at the input of our source in series with the resistor R3 in such a way that I0 flows from terminal 1 to terminal 2 of the input of the controlled source. In order to do this, we can simply connect R1 as shown here and then remove the short circuit between these two connections. This way we have R1 in series with R3 with current I0 flowing from its terminal 1 to its terminal 2. The last thing left to do to set up our current control voltage source is to set the factor M by which the control variable is multiplied. In this case, this factor is 4 ohms. Now we need to add a ground reference, so we press Ctrl G and put a ground reference right here. We can then add annotations for both current and voltage and then simulate. This gives us exactly the same results as the example in the book.